it detained over 150 individuals. Those individuals are still detained. These were bad guy weapons. They ranged from brass knucks to knives to chains to clubs and to firearms. This was a true gang fight that occurred at this location behind us. We have been here for about two months. This is not the first Sunday that we have been here. The question was what happened uh, in the past with Twin Peaks management about meetings that we had. What did they know? Uh, the answer to that is they were aware that there were issues here. We have been working with the management here to no avail, and I have to say that was local management here, but they would not cooperate. Uh, there was a statement that local management put out last night that was absolute fabrication. It was a lie. That individual that said what he said about trying to cooperate and working with police was not true. The newest piece of details that we're getting now is that the TABC is working closely with Waco police and Sergeant Swanton said there is a good chance that Twin Peaks could be shut down as a result of this incident. He maintained that once again they knew about this and the problems that were happening here for about two months and about a week ago after local management here at Twin Peaks would not cooperate with police, the Waco Police Department reached out to national management of Twin Peaks, trying to get them to get a hold of this situation that could have been prevented. Sergeant Swanton also talked a little bit about the fact that the, his officers did exchange gunfire with many of those suspects.